My name is Doug Baylog. I'm with IBM. I'm the uh, general manager for IBM Power Systems. Boy, is there a lot new going on at IBM Power Systems. Uh, you know, we're, we're at this uh, sort of amazing tipping point in the industry where, first off, we're all drowning in data, right? Data is sort of the new natural resource we see being generated by lots and lots of devices, lots of sources. At the same time, we see plenty of clients looking at how to move to and embrace cloud technology. Um, but we're also at a tipping point, not just in terms of technology directions, but in some of the challenges we see in the server market in terms of the ongoing ability for servers to deliver that 2x every two year performance that Moore's Law kind of promised. And this is where openness comes in because I think what we're finding is we're at this point where no single company can really own that innovation agenda like they did in the past. So in the power business, we've gotten fairly bold in our view. And in addition to announcing some really fabulous new products based on Linux and KVM and OpenStack, uh, we've also announced the, uh, the creation with Google, NVIDIA, Mellanox, and now 45 or more others, uh, the Open Power Foundation. At the heart and soul of the Open Power Foundation is this shared belief that, that it, it's time for a change in the way in which IT is created and consumed. That it, it is about multiple companies coming together to bring innovation from the processor, in this case the Power A processor, all the way through the system designs, through the accelerators, through the software, and through the end users. Uh, this coming together of multiple companies in a collaborative spirit will provide that next level of innovation that continues us on this uh, Moore's Path curve. That's fundamental what's going on. It is about openness. And again, it's uh, the first time I think we've seen this level of openness in the server marketplace. We're seeing uh, a lot of developers, a lot of clients, a lot of partners sort of embracing this notion of running Linux on power and the Open Power Foundation. Um, but you've got to provide access to, to, to equipment, you've got to provide access to technology and access to education. And so we're continuing to expand. We now have over 50 uh, centers that partners, clients, ISVs, can, developers can go to now. And uh, I expect that to continue to grow. But you know, we've got now centers in countries everywhere from Australia to Vietnam and every you know, country and letter in between for the most part. Um, it's about access. You know, if you can't get access, it's hard to, to do that level of innovation that we're trying to inspire through the Open Power Foundation and the Power A technology. Our mainframe, which recently celebrated 50 years of history, uh, 50 years of re-innovating itself and you know, a long life ahead wouldn't be where it is today without embracing back in 1999-2000 Linux on the platform. In fact, that was when IBM made our first billion dollar commitment to really help bring Linux to the enterprise. So here we are now fast forward almost 15 years later and we're again making, as we did last year, that billion dollar commitment to Linux. In this case, Linux on power to expand on that success we've seen uh, for our clients, so Linux on the mainframe, now it'll hold down to their footprint. And that's based on, again, there, there's so many different application types that can benefit from the Power Platform, but they're gonna benefit it because developers have chosen an open stack of software to write their next generation applications. Porting those at the end to some other operating system doesn't work. You've gotta capture them for speed of experimentation, speed of deployment at a client, they want to quickly mobile enable. They want to quickly run an analytics query, right? To be able to figure out what to do with all this data coming in, right? They want to quickly write web applications to reach out to new buyers themselves. All that's happening on Linux. And so as a server company, we've got to embrace it. And I think this is like we saw in the mainframe, going to be hopefully a wonderful success for our power business too. Uh, while there are certainly changes going on in the market, infrastructure matters more today than it ever did. Somebody is still buying those servers to deploy in a cloud infrastructure. They're not running in vaporware, they're running physically on something. Uh, countries are looking at how to build domestic IT agendas, right, to, at the end of the day, protect their data, protect the information around the citizens of the country. Infrastructure is critically important from the availability it provides, the security it provides, but again, I'll go back to the point I made earlier. It will be done in a different way, and it will be done in a spirit of openness and collaboration to bring the best ideas, the best technologies into that infrastructure so that it will be differentiated and solve real problems that the world has to solve today.